Hello, this is a bonus episode, we're just gonna get some of the stuff I missed and get some of the easy achievements. So, uh, expect a bunch of separate clips of me going around and getting various things. And, uh, yeah. Alright, first things first. I believe I neglected to explore behind this puzzle in the first area. This puzzle number six in the very first area. And, uh, yep. There is a flame that I missed here. So we've got that. And I think I also might have missed a strat in here as well. Way over here somewhere behind, uh, Castellina. So we're gonna go head over that direction real quick. Uh, if I know how to get there anyway. Also, the game did reset my graphics settings again. So, uh, there's that much going for us. I just turn them all down again. Hopefully, I put them all at appropriate levels again. Oh wow, this I forgot how spread out this area was. There's a lot of stuff to see. Oh yeah, we're completely on the wrong side of the island here. So I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, well that actually didn't take very long. Here's puzzle in castling, and we're just gonna climb up here and go around behind it. That's the easiest way to get back here. And there should be... Yes! I never went back here and never found this. <laughs> what did it mean in the end to be Straton? To have few friends and many enemies? To write harsh words because it seemed necessary? To pursue the truth at the expense of all else? Of family? Of love. To pursue that one principle to the point of... of death. Is that what I was? A life lived against the tides of history. Broken, jagged, unrelenting. Not a kind old man beloved of his children and then forgotten. But a thorn. A rock in a shoe. Insisting on the truth until it becomes a hideous, frightening thing that cannot be tolerated, even by those who agree with it. Was that a good life? Oh, interesting. Where, where did it save my checkpoint at? I thought I talked to everybody already. Yes? Oh, right. I hadn't picked this dialogue option yet. Well, that explains the discrepancies between all those schematics you found and the actual megastructure. It's all been transformed by Athena's dream. No wonder it was driving me potty. Driving me potty? What kind of bizarre idiot came up with that expression? I'm serious. The moment we're done with this, I'm going to sit down and update the language libraries. And I'm going to put in every swear word in every language ever invented. <laughs> Uh. All right, there is supposedly an achievement here for only using one connector, and uh, I'm pretty sure after watching Nox stream recently that I know how to do it. I think Nox didn't get the achievement, because Nox not going to view the achievement until after playing, but uh, should be able to do this now. So first of all, we want to just do that. Right, I have to reset the puzzle first. Gotta do that first, I have to actually reset it to an unsolved state. There we go, restart puzzle. Seems like they optimized the loading speeds a little bit, so that's nice. They're still longer than they should be, but they're shorter than I remember them being. Maybe. That. Get this in here. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Oh, my mouse is doing that thing again. I'm surprised this is the first time it happened. My my mouse has been double right clicking a lot. I'm surprised we went through the entire playthrough and didn't encounter it at all because <laughs> that's been happening so much outside of this game. All right, and there we go. That should be it. Achievement! Yay! Achievement! There we go. Did it. And I think. I think we've got everything in this area, right? I'll have to double check, but, uh, yeah. 
All right, we are here in East 3, Puzzle 2 Energy Maintenance. If we turn around, there's a very well-hidden one here. I don't think I found this Prometheus spark in here. Yeah, look at this. Like, see how hidden this is? Like, you can kind of maybe see that from out here, but like, that is, that is very sneaky. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's no wonder I didn't find this in my playthrough. So I guess we gotta do some hardcore to get up here. Oopsie. Oh, exactly. Are we meant to get up here? Oh, the momentum, the air control. Guess we have to jump. Oh, well. I am not good at parkour. <laughs> uh, can we make that jump? I guess we have to. I think we can, I just fumbled it. No, maybe not. What's going on here? Oh, yep, yeah, I never got to silence my phone. I will do that after this. Oh, come on. It's gonna take forever at this rate. Okay, definitely cannot make that jump after all. So then what do we do instead? Surely you can't just walk up the slope, right? No, cannot just walk up the slope. Uh, hmm. We can jump to this, but that doesn't help us. I don't think there's a way to get up on, on this stuff here, right? On the top of the cliff. Do we really not make that jump? Like, that seems like it's the only way, kinda. No. Huh. Maybe you have to jump from that to that? If I can even land on that. That is quite a tricky jump. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't find this flame in my original playthrough. <laughs> Okay, now we can make this jump. There we go! Finally! <laughs> Alright, uh, skip the next one now. Alright. This next one is also pretty sneaky. We really hit these ones well. So, that's the, uh, the Sphinx statue where we get one of the stars. And if we head over here with this beautiful music plane... Round over this little rocky area here can dive into this forest, and here it is. Look at that. A uh, nice little shrine. Look away like this. Alright, I think that's everything in this area. Hello, Yukut. What do you have to say? Hey, 1K, how are you? I'm not sure. There seems to be one per site. Maybe they open up when you complete the rest of them? I've only had a brief look at them with the drone, and they look complicated. But maybe that's just me. You know how I am with puzzles. <laughs> yep, well, we've already done all of them. Alright, clearly I was not as thorough as I thought I was in some of these early areas, because, uh, over here in Puzzle 6 of, uh, this is North 2, we have, uh, way over here along the west, on the shore here. We have a flame that I missed. And I would have found this easily by just running along the shoreline here. And, uh, evidently I did not. Or maybe I was too scared to go in the water or didn't notice this or something. How do we get up there? Aha! More parkour it is. Here we go. Oh, really? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Got it! Alright, see you with the next one. Oh, have they fixed this? Would you look at that? I think, I think they fixed this one finally, so... Let's see if we can't do this the proper way, finally. <laughs> it's been so long. 
<laughs> and they have patched the game a few times, so I'm glad they fixed this. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, that's an easy fix. Alright. Uh, I think we we'll us stay up here with the jammer. Right. Put me this fan right now. Let's see. Oops. Gotta remember my mouse is kinda finicky. There we go. We have up here. Right, I needed to take the jammer. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's just redo this then. somebody up here? Or are we done? I think we're just done now, right? Yep, okay. There we go, that's the intended way. Not much different, to be honest, but, uh, yeah. It is a little bit more difficult. Did it. Alright, where to next? Alright, this one comes to me just not looking down, or not hearing the sound of the Prometheus spark. If I just cross over here and look down... Yep, there it is. Right here. Found it! Right, and we need to do the intended solution <laughs> for the, uh, Pandora statue here. Let's go do that, why wouldn't we? this, please. Let's see. There we go. I guess it's kind of thing. We don't really need that. It'll make things easier, so why not? Right. Ladder. Thank you. I need to move this first. I guess I need to move because I can see it in an angle. Whatever. Either way, it works. Alright. There's step one done. Now we're going to the part that I could not, for the life of me, figure out. And, uh, I almost had it. I was close. I just did not stand in the right spot to notice that it would work out. See. Yeah, we want to get down there. Uh, is this the fast way? Yes, it's the fast way. That works. You can actually shortcut some more stuff in here than I thought. Here we go. Alright, so. Supposedly. Yeah. So, that completely was the part that I missed, and I just did not even. Did not even consider that it could be where you can work that way. because my mouse is doing the double right-click thing. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's all it took. So yeah, whatever I did uh, in my playthrough is completely not what you're supposed to do. This is clearly the much easier way. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and one more thing before we leave. That's the easiest way to get across here. I 
Do I want to risk it? You know what, I'll just try it, and if we fail, then I'll go somewhere else. Oh, it doesn't let you jump underwater. Hey, it works. Okay. Look over here to Pillars of Ascension, because, uh... There was a very important thing that I did not notice when I played. We can just walk all around in this water here. There's a shallow water everywhere, so I did not need to reset... I did not need to restart checkpoint to get out of here, because I could have just done this. Walked along here. Yep. I certainly did this the hard way. Or made it more difficult than it needed to be. Alright. Where to next? Alright. Somebody was arguing me with me in the comments about this puzzle. This is, uh... Jim call it Switcheroo. And, uh... There's an achievement in this puzzle. And honestly, I think the achievement is one of the easiest, because it makes almost no difference to the puzzle. So, well, let me show you. The, the achievement is just to not right-click the connector. That's it. The, you don't use the Keep Connections option. So, we're just gonna left-click on it every time. So far, we haven't even connected it to anything, so we don't have to worry about that. See, we do all this as normal. I'm gonna take this as a left-click. Which, because there's, there's no reason not to, because it's not connected to anything. The box on the pressure plate. Gonna let us take it out. Left click. And put this here. Do this all as normal. And then this is the switcheroo part, where you just put this up here instead. Alright, so, we have never connected the connector to anything at this point. I can take it from there, right? And as I'm standing on the box, we can- we can easily- like, even if I'm standing close as possible, we can still easily point at that and at that. So there's really no difficulty for this achievement at all. You know, we jump over here, and it even lets us put us on the box there. And look at that. There is the achievement. It's extremely easy. It does not change the puzzle at all. <laughs> I don't know why it's called the hard way, because it's literally the same as the normal way. You just have to not right-click. What is the difference? Like, that's literally the same as how I did it in my actual playthrough. You can go watch and... You can go watch my playthrough and see. It's, it's basically the same except that I right-clicked my playthrough originally. Alright. Now I think we're done with this place, finally. Alright. We're here in South 2, near Puzzle 3, and apparently I just never explored back behind this puzzle. <laughs> I do not know why I neglected to do that. But look at that. There's a Stratton right up here. Plain and obvious for all to see. Uh... Excuse me? What am I stuck on here? There we go. For the life of an individual citizen to be good, first the city itself must be good. Perhaps even the cosmos itself must first be made better. Before such a thing as a good life is truly possible. These insubstantial creatures that walk through my thoughts, perhaps they can live that life. They are, after all, human beings, like myself. This much I have understood. Is that why they have summoned me? Can I somehow bring them into this world? Make them real? Or am I... No. Seems like Stratton is starting to come to a realization. Yeah. Surprised I didn't find this area, because I want to jump around all over this. See what can be seen. It's probably able to get surprisingly high on this. Is there anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that as my sign to leave. Evidently, they only want you to find Stratton and nothing else. Alright, next up, apparently in the lab, I missed a terminal. I did not know that a door opened after I disabled the, uh, the generator, the emergency shutdown and all that. So, let's go ahead towards the lab on the compass. 
Maybe we'll see what is on that terminal. Alright, the door I missed is right over here. Look at this, look how hidden this door is! <laughs> I did not think I'd just come in here like this. And even jump down here into this water and such. Alright, here's the terminal. From Thecla 3, archived message from Thecla to Athena. Beloved founder, Mary Humanimus has done much to bring your vision to life. We have almost reached the goal. Sadly, there are still those who refuse to believe. They want to spread their filth across this world, defile all that is beautiful, and that we are meant to protect. And then there's some hex codes. Hope that when we fulfill the goal, you will return and change their hearts, or cast them out if there is no other way. Praise Corruption, Thecla. Noima Project 9. Breakthrough, quadrupled size of primary site device, energy output exceeds expectations, contained singularity, must revise safety protocols. Halting main device test until. Hmm. So. Look at this. 5357. Must revise safety protocols. Halting main device test until. That's going to be relevant later in this episode. So th these are the trial numbers. 5357, that should be very similar to another number that we've seen throughout this game. Byron, from Lives of the First Companions by Randolph. Byron, from the very beginning, was most similar to Athena and Cornelius. His enthusiasm and wit did much to keep the people from losing hope during the challenging days when New Jerusalem was still young. Where others saw failure and defeat, Byron saw obstacles that could always be overcome through intelligence and hard work. He fervently studied the teachings of the progenitor, and often regaled his friends with fantastical stories of what the world could one day become. When the conflict between Atrahasis and Senchuntiathion turned violent, the first such incident in the history of New Jerusalem, and still at the time of writing one of a very few such cases, it was Byron who intervened, counseling restraint and forgiveness. He was unwilling to fully blame either side for what happened, instead emphasizing the extreme stress both parties had been under. Irrational behavior is frequently the result of a perceived lack of viable options, he argued before the assembled citizens. While both Atrahasis and Sanchuniathon clearly behaved incorrectly, the ultimate source of the problem is the situation we place them in, of having to do too much with too few resources. The escalation of the conflict occurred because both were doing their best to achieve their goals. That's not terribly fair, pitting them against each other like that, is it? That said, I do suggest we acknowledge that they are both hot-headed idiots and make them apologize. And then there's our 5358. Aftermath of the New Alexandria disaster, Byron argued unsuccessfully for the rebuilding of the colony. Miranda says, If Byron matters so much to you, why didn't you tell him where you were going? I would have loved to have an older brother. A senior replies, Something that we can't read because it failed to load the comment. Interesting. Yeah. This would have been an interesting terminal to find earlier in the game. <laughs> Because everything on this one, she's still errors, right? Yep, all still errors. I completely misunderstood how this mechanic works, because it, it kind of looks like it has to power off both sides before it turns off the barrier. But I think what it's actually showing is just that they can also power each other, so laser goes into one and it powers the other as well. 
And then the timing on this was just unfortunate. Like, really, that and this should have happened at the same time. Anyway. Let us get out of here. Alright. Okay. This next one, we're gonna have to do something a bit silly here. Uh, video. Let's put everything up to the highest it'll go. Prepare for low frames, but we have to do this for science. And then restart checkpoint for good measure. All right. Let's see if we can figure this one out now, proper way. Uh, connectors are in here, I suppose. Yeah, here we go. There was already a connector out there, then I missed it. Oh, yep, there it was. Okay. Anyway. We need... and we need both connectors anyway, right? We need... we need blue. Oh no, no we don't need blue. We don't need blue connectors. Alright, so... When I put this down... Uh... No, I am not... I'm not seeing it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there it is! It's right... Right where I'm circling here. That is extremely subtle. I don't even know if it's showing up in the recording or not. Alright, well, we know where it is now, so... Let's go back into the graphics settings, and turn it all back down. There. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> there we go. Alright, frame rate salvaged once again. Uh, what color did we need? I already forgot. Was it red or blue? Uh, let's just do blue because I think that's what it was, right? Yep, so now that's connected. Gotta run all the way over here, and while we're doing that, I think we're gonna find something that I missed. Let's see, where we're Stratton? Stratton's like over somewhere. I think Stratton was there. Somewhere out here, there should be something that I missed. it over there? No, those are rocks, right? Oh, nope, here it is. Strange vehicle, unknown vehicle. This odd device appears to be some form of transportation, but it seems hard to imagine its practical uses. Perhaps it was employed in some form of entertainment, such as a vehicular form of medieval jousting. <laughs> it's a bumper car. All right. But yeah, now we need to head over here. But there is something incredibly devious and annoying that bothers me in this puzzle here. All right, what was the uh, color we needed? Oh, red. That's okay. We can fix that. Well, we don't need to because I can. I can. I'm just showing you how to do this now. All right. So. Apparently, after you solve this puzzle, this little sneaky wall lowers, allowing you to access this connector. Or, I guess it slides over to the left here, evidently. Yeah, so this is how we're supposed to do things. <laughs> uh, yep, never, never would have guessed anything like that. Alright, so that's connected, and... That's connected. 
Yeah, and that would have worked if I would picked the right color back there. So, that's it. That's it for this area. <laughs> Never would have figured that out. Alright, so, you remember when I said that the trial numbers are going to be important for later in the video? Well, it is time to revisit that thought. I think the terminal in here will have something quite important for us. Not that one, no, what about this one? Here we go. Trial 5358. Unauthorized trial. Catastrophic failure, she's gone. So yeah, every time we see the numbers 5358 in the game, it's because this is the trial where Miranda died, and Athena is still mentally and emotionally caught up on it, and so that's why it appears everywhere throughout the game, because, you know, it's all part of her dreams. Trial 5358 is the one where everything went wrong, and she's still stuck on that. There you go. There is the explanation for the meaning of 5358 in the Talos Principle 2. Right, where to next? Alright, apparently the sparks in this area blend in with the grass, so they're really easy to miss if you're not listening carefully for them. Supposedly- ah, yep, here it is, behind the lab. There we go, there's another spark that I missed. And I think that's it for this area, right? Yeah, where to next? Alright. It is time. We must do the intended solution here. <laughs> first things first. The one angle I had not considered through the entrance here. Look at that. Look at that! <laughs> That's all it takes. The other thing is that uh, as we're moving around here, there's this gate. And then if we go towards this back wall here... Somewhere. Somewhere, I think. Maybe you have to go... Somewhere there. Nope, there's there's two gates somewhere here. Thought I had it a moment ago. Oh, oh, here we go. Wait, now if we go around here. All the way. This is really sneaky. I never would have found this. Like, look how hidden this is. It blends in so very well. Yep, and this barrier is what we, we needed the activator to get this driller for. And now this driller, you may be wondering, we don't need a driller to use on the, the statue over there. No, of course not. We need to take this driller somewhere completely else, somewhere completely different. And uh, I'm surprised I didn't see it, or I just, if I did see it, I didn't notice it. We gotta walk all the way over here. And uh, all the way along this path. Past the lab, even. I think almost past one of the puzzles as well, but there should be something coming up on the left for us. Yeah, it's past this puzzle here. If we look on the left over here, around this rock, look at that, a drillable wall just out in the open, and I completely missed it. And here is the activator that we're actually supposed to use to get the star. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <sighs> well, I mean, you, you know the rest from here, so I'm not gonna waste time on this. Alright. I just wanted to say, I have seen four completely different solutions to this puzzle, the, the gold puzzle hollow. And, uh, yeah, like, I've seen two each of solutions that activate these green receivers, and also two each of solutions that use the activators to turn off the barriers. And, uh, pretty much every solution I've seen involves tricky angles. You know, there, there's two solutions that use this angle that I used over here, and then there's also two solutions that don't do that at all. They just use some tricky angles with stuff in here. I am not going to show any of them because I hate this puzzle. Everybody, everybody I'm friends with agrees that this is the most difficult puzzle in the game. And the fact that it's got four solutions that all feel jinky and unintended really does not make me happy. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Good riddance. Never have to do you ever again. Alright. Level 7 gateway switch. Apparently, 
we go off in the distance behind here, we should find a Stratton that I missed. I think this is the last one. Pretty sure, anyway. Somewhere... Somewhere out here. Nope. Not there. I guess in that direction. There is something. Yep. I, in, these, in these later areas, I was not exploring as thoroughly as I was in, earlier in the game. And here we go. I have considered the visions that have plagued me on this strange journey. This insubstantial pageant all around me. And I have asked myself, is this Hades? Are these the Blessed Isles? For I never believed that such things existed, except as made by the hands of the living. The conclusion I have come to frightens me. But I must face it. It is not this island that is insubstantial, but I. Straton of Stagira is dead. He has been dead for many ages of the world. I am a ghost. A flicker of memory, soon to be extinguished. And yet, I am pleased. Perhaps I did not live a good life, but I lived a necessary one. I am gone, but humankind abides and the flame of Prometheus still burns. In its bright light, I will rest easy, knowing that my work is accomplished. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's all the Stratons, all 12. Yep, Stratons 1 through 12 found. Got all the Trevors. Now, I don't know about all of these. These are not numbered. I might have missed one, because we should have gotten an achievement if I'd gotten all of these. We did all the lifters here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it's just the random memories that I'm missing, I suppose. And, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, because... You know, I'll, I'll check an achievement guide, I'll see if there's one that I easily recognize as being unfamiliar to me, and then we'll go get it. But anyway, we have a couple other things to do here. There's a couple flames to find, and, uh... Also, I gotta redo chicken flight because my solution was unintended. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Alright, that's puzzle six in front of us. And behind us, the west, is a kind of foresty spot here. Isn't this a little pleasant little spot? Hmm. Not seeing anything in here. Guess it might be somewhere else a bit. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Yeah, so that's puzzle six, and this is just right here. By the hands! That makes more sense. Look at this. Yep, I should have investigated these hands. We could see them from quite a distance, and I just never came over here. Like I said, I was not as thorough in these later areas as I could have been other times. Hey, hey there we go. Did it! I'm pressing space as many times as I can. And it's not disengaging me! Hmm. There we go. Finally. <laughs> right. On to the next one. Alright. We're here at Puzzle 2 Chicken Flight, and we are gonna do it the intended way. <laughs> uh, definitely overcomplicated things in this one. Alright, I need to actually reset it to an assault state first. Restart puzzle. And apparently the last spark I'm missing is not in this level, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to double check all my sparks again, even though that was the whole point of this video. Alright. First things first, let's do this. 
Uh, actually, no. Eh, whatever. I'll figure it out. Uh, maybe yes? Or something along these lines. Maybe that as well, right? Oops. There we go. My mouse is still giving me trouble. Oh, right. I've... Okay, well. Easy fix. Easy fix. Right, right, okay. I understand this now. Come on. Oh, and of course it does that. Ah. Uh, uh, no, uh, just dis disconnect, please. So now, that's what this window is for. Is, uh, doing that. Yep, there you have it. That's the intended solution. There we go. As it should be. Right. Now, I've gotta, <laughs> gotta find the last things I need. Alright, I found the one spark I was missing right here by the gold puzzle. We head over here. This little spot. It's right here. Blends in with the grass. It's barely making sounds. I thought I collected it already, but evidently I did not. And there we go. Top left corner of the screen, we have 24 sparks. That's all of them. So yeah, that's 24 puzzles that you can skip in the game, technically. Right. Now, some, uh, some other concerning things. <laughs> There's no achievement for that, but also text adventure. I did play all three text adventures, but the thing is, I played one- I, I played some of them in one play session, then I quit the game, and then I launched the game, and I played others in a different play session. So I never got the achievement, because I did it in two separate play sessions. I'm really annoyed about that. Like, I should have this achievement, because I did play all three. And, uh, then this one. This is the one I need to figure out now. The rest of these are ones that I can't do, and I won't do. Yeah, so it's mainly just this one that I can get now. And, uh, this one, I don't know if I'm gonna replay the whole game just to get this, but I will replay part of the game in a moment here. First, let's see if I can find what I'm missing here. Alright, I found one of the Miranda memories over here. Look at that. Apparently I just never walked into that area over there. Hey, achievement! Come on, out with it. What's the problem? I know you're very busy, but... You need to pay more attention to what's happening. Everything's slowing down. People are losing track of the bigger picture. They're still traumatized by New Alexandria. It's more than that. When I organized the last expedition, I had real trouble finding volunteers. There's no enthusiasm for the outside world anymore. They want to look away from history, pretend there's no past and no future. I'm really worried, Athena. Okay. I promise I'll look into it as soon as I'm done with this. Yep. Byron tried to make Athena aware. Maybe it was a bit too late. Right. There are some things I want to talk about, but... For that, we have to start a new game. So, why don't we do that now? I will be with you in a bit. Right, in the boot up sequence, I checked in here, but I did not check the one on the other side, so I missed a QR code. Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. 
I must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into the Eden that it never was, the blacksmith. And as Elhim says, it's an essence of herself, so it explains why 1k is a good person to embark on this endeavor. Anyway, on to the next thing. Right. Ah, Let's pick awake. some other dialogue options here real quick, Welcome just because I'm curious. <sighs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up. And now you're here. And rather confused. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Of course! You want the short version or the long version? All right, let's see. You are a human being. You live on a planet called Earth. Your ancestors were organic, but they were wiped out by a plague. We were created to carry forward their legacy. After the Founder left the simulation that was used to create her mind, she founded the city of New Jerusalem and set the goal of creating 1,000 new humans. That took a long time. About a millennium, in fact. And in the meantime, she sadly decided to go into exile. But finally, you have arrived. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Wow, I somehow picked another option that does not allow me to clarify if I'm number 1000 or not. <laughs> oh, one more thing. No, nope, stay away from me. I, I said no to you before. I know there's a lot of content behind you. I know I have to do the summon drone. I mean, I know I have to interact with you to do the summon drone, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep away from you. Right, we are, we are not going through all that effort right now. You gotta watch somebody else's playthrough or buy the game yourself. Stay away. Stay back. No! <laughs> that camera swing. Hold on there. All right, all right, just for the achievement. <laughs> okay. That's the Outer Wilds approach to Easter egg endings, or joke endings, rather. Secret egg endings, you know what I mean. Chicken. You know, it's a real shame 1K didn't come along. He would have loved this. I expected that Byron would just try to convince us after the meeting. I did not expect it to be an actual ending. <laughs> oh, how, how far is that going to put me back? Oh, no. Where does it put me? Please tell me. Okay, good. <laughs> Do please join us. Theme of building new Hold X to reset. Where is it gonna put me? I'm curious. <laughs> I didn't know you could reset during that. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, there are a couple of things we can do before embarking on the expedition, so let's see if we can get an achievement for a petition. Why not? Hello? I'm... Cur we Thanks, 1K. There we go. There's that achievement. And then, way back behind the museum, there is a character that a lot of people miss because they're kind of way off a ways in the distance. I think you can see it in Nockstream because uh, we, we kind of encourage not to explore the water, but... But, uh, yeah... I think I never encountered the character because I just never explored back there. So let's go check him out real quick. And of course, there is a lot of walking in this game, so it's going to be a while. Da -da 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 -da. I guess while we're walking, I can talk about something interesting. There, there's a lot of metaphors in this game, layers of meaning and such. Uh, one of the things that is constantly talked about is the, uh, the flame. You know, fire 
and all that. And, and uh, in the in the ending I got after helping Cornelius with Miranda and all that, or actually you no, know, listening to Cornelius talk about things when doing goal puzzles, like Cornelius remarked about uh, how they're using the tech from New Alexandria, and it felt like rekindling a flame that should never have been extinguished. I felt that was kind of interesting wording. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because flame is kind of required for civilization to survive and thrive. You know, we need the fire. That's often one of the most pivotal inventions of Anon. I mean, obviously the game is hammering it in throughout the whole game. You know, Prometheus gave the gift of fire to man. You know, fire, knowledge, and all that. There's, there's so many interesting layers of meaning in this game like that. And it's all kind of stuff that's already existed before this game or any of the... Any of these games, like, this is stuff that's been in existence for a long time. Just interesting to think about. Let's put to good use in this game, I think. And here we go, this is the character that all people miss. Rin. 1k. You've strayed far. Well, that gives me a chance to apologize for completion day not being entirely... complete. Yes, it's my responsibility. I'm the chief architect. It was supposed to be done in time for completion day, but we simply didn't have enough resources. It has two purposes, to protect New Jerusalem from the world, and to protect the world from New Jerusalem. You're right, I have heard that argument. But the way it's been explained to me is that the dome has a greater value than just its practical use. It's a symbol of the society we aspire to become. That's what the founder taught us. One city may not seem like much, but just look at the dead city and how it transformed the environment. The consequences are still with us, even more than a thousand years later. Well then build cities that don't transform the environment. At this rate, I'm not sure. Maybe another decade or two. Alright. Oh, there's that taken care of. Just wanted to show that off. There are quite a ways out there. And if I ever progress to save how more, we'll, we can see if we can talk to them again later on. Oh, this is the checkpoint? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, I'll walk all the way back. Or run, rather. The fastest speed in this game. Oh yeah, this is actually a song from the first game. I, I walked away from it during my playthrough originally because I thought that maybe it would be like some sort of content ID issue, but this is from the first game. Look, it's the sun! Alright. So I've just I've done the two puzzles, and I'm gonna head to the lab, the clouds. and we're gonna, we're gonna experiment and see what happens in various circumstances here, because... Build once you get finished talking here, I'll explain. Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. What's clear is that this place was meant... This is... Check out the terminals. Maybe there's something that'll help us understand who built this place. They have to have left something behind. Right, so, the interesting is that this lab doesn't unlock the next area, you have to solve a few puzzles, and then Melville will automatically fix up the transport system and unlock the next area. And you don't have to go to this tower first, you can actually go to the other tower first. So I think, uh, let's see, if I look at the map, this tower and this tower are both the Sphinx, but this one is Pandora. And we have a group call after the first tower incident, so I want to see what the Pandora group call is like. That's my goal here. So, let's get started with that. 
Also, I want to see how the Prometheus sparks work with uh, skipping puzzles and such. And there's one right over here, so we should have an easy time with this. There we go. Spark picked up. No comment yet, because I think that you only get comments on it for the second one that you pick up. Or maybe the third. Yeah, I think it's the second though, yeah. Alright, so. Terminal. How does this work? Oh, you have to click and drag. Oh, okay. No accidental clicks here. Look at that. Keep solving these, 1K. Let's see where it leads. And then it just stays there, huh? All right. I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Here's our trusty old right click tutorial. There we go. And of course, my mouse is making this difficult. If I can't trick it. Yeah, that works. Here. Right, I need to move the jammer. That's right. There we go. Come on. There we go. My right click is really unreliable today. Here we go. I have good news, and I have bad news. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Two stations are better than none. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was sabotage. The whole system is a mess. Let's not make any assumptions. Yakut, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty though. Okay. Keep exploring everyone, but stay alert. All right, so let's go ahead and go to that next area and see how the game handles that. We only have five puzzles solved here. No access to the tower yet. We're just gonna go straight to the next area earliest convenience. 
We think it'll walk all the way around this way again. But we'll get there. I wonder what the speedrun tech in this game was like. I still have not watched any speedruns because I'm still also planning to play the demo. Also, there's this little cubby here. Neat. But yeah, I'm gonna watch speedruns after I play the demo finally. I wanna see how things are going there. I've mostly just been doing this new file as fast as I can and ignoring as much as I can. Except for the stuff I wanted to show y'all. Alright. sure you're all excited to check out the next site, but while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. Maybe there's another one of those labs that 1K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. I'm sure that's useful in speedruns. Interesting monument. Decorative for another puzzle. Yeah, so that's the first Sphinx monument that you can find in the game. And so they did save that dialogue specifically for just the first of any monument that you come across in the game. I wonder how late you could delay that. <laughs> like, imagine you get that in the last area, that dialogue. Although, what would happen if you delayed it, but then you went the route where you only have Alcatraz at the end, and, you know, Byron and Melville and Yakut aren't with you anymore? And w would Alcatraz comment on it, or would it just be too late to get that dialogue? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's a lot of variety in how this game can be played. Uh, whatever, I'm near this puzzle, so let's do it. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, let's not do it. We have the- we have the spark. Thank you. Alright, well, I mean, we, we've already seen all these puzzles, so I'm gonna stop here for now, and then uh, I'll, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Also, I, my previous question I stated about the uh, the monuments, it applies to the Lost Puzzles as well, because both uh, Alcatraz and Byron respond to the first time you find a Lost Puzzle. I already did that and found out when it wasn't recording, but uh, yeah, I wonder what happens if you do that when you only have Alcatraz and the team, or at, if at the, at the end of the game you also, if you only have Byron, you could in Melville and you don't have Alcatraz. Because, uh, they're, they're both present for that dialogue line, so maybe there's versions without each of them. Interesting. This one's an interesting one. I wanted to show something that I saw a friend do that was completely comically absurd to me. Alright, so first of all, what are our options around here? Got where things are located. Alright, there's... yeah, we need that first. Alright. Well, normally you'd want to do it like this, right? But, once there's something on the button, you can also go and point at it like this. And now the barrier is between the driller and the hole. And, uh, you know, we do this normally. Normally the game says, cannot take driller through its own hole. Right? And, you know, normally you have to let the driller fall through without you picking it up. Because, uh, you know, if, if, it, if it gets pushed through or falls through or whatever, then it's fine. But you can't take it through its own hole otherwise, because when you pick it up, it removes the hole. But, what if the requirement for the hole to be open, this barrier here, what if you take away that? <laughs> watch, watch this. We can take this, it lets us... And, uh, if I reach in there and lift that connector off of the button, You'd think, you would think that it would slice my character's arms off. Nope! <laughs> it does not do that. <laughs> it just lets you do it. 
And, uh, I don't think any puzzles in the game actually require that move at all. It's just something that I saw a friend do, and I was like, wait, what? Excuse me, what did you do? Ah, <laughs> uh, the logic in this game. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we need. And we're already done, sorta. Yep, there we go. Ta-da! Alright, back to solving other puzzles. Alright, last puzzle we need to get to the tower. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. One of the few puzzles. I think the only puzzle really in the game with uh, em the emitter directly connected to a receiver like this, with no in-between replace connectors or anything like that. And also, look at this. The the sign shows you which puzzles have the flame for you to go back and recover them later. That's pretty neat. Right. I think you know what I'm going to do, though. We have enough puzzles to build the bridge. So, we are going to make a detour to a loop. And we are going to get that box. Or Eye of the Needle. Either one works. Uh, maybe Eye of the Needle is closer, actually. Yeah, but loop. Loop is easier. Let's just do it. For old time's sake. You know. Back in the good old days. When I didn't know how the story of this game was gonna go. A time that can never be revisited. Here we are. Paste. No, yeah, I think we can take the, um... Even take the driller connector out of here. I was taking my notes that one time, I, I didn't note that down. But yeah. Here we go, gutter box. And I think, based on Nox Stream, they have not patched this yet. They might have patched the soft lock, but they did not patch the ability to jump leap over the bridge, so this should still work. We're gonna go find out. Uh, let me internally puzzle real quick. There we go. Compass is back. And yes, I am recording this on the 6th when Nox did the stream. Where I, I should not kind of recreate this this uh, amazing super jump. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's still doable. Oh, that's fun. Let's see what happens. Alright. This will be the first tower, and I think it should be Pandora. Like, unless unless they scripted the first tower to be in a certain order. The, the rest of the game, when there's multiple towers available at once, they're all... Is it's always the same character. Anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. No! They scripted it! No! In the the god shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the create? Ah, uh, let's see. I speak in riddles because the world is a mystery. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alive. You speak foolishly. Because you are afraid. Angered by the betrayal of... Alright, the poor she's no longer use any joke options. Oh, here's a joke option, I suppose. Zeus created Pandora, and so her acts were his. Creature of clay. Now, this is one thing that they did change, I think. They, the, the the laser you get is the same color at each tower, no matter what. Uh, 
so they have different cutscenes for the laser activating the monument or the mega structure rather. Look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting. Look at this. It's the blue version of this. Bet you never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, there's one version for each color, and you only see that once. We need to talk about what just happened. Let's skip that. Testing you. You know how you get. All right, that was the main thing I was curious about. So they make it so that no matter what, the first time you get the Sphinx. Uh, but the other areas in the game, you can actually go to a tower, you know, out of order, and you will get the entity that's already associated with that tower. So it's interesting how they're doing that. Like sometimes the towers have a specific entity that's always at the tower, and then I guess in these first initial areas, they want you to always meet the Sphinx first, no matter what. Interesting. Oh, how are we gonna get back across? Did they make any changes here? Will it have built the bridge for us, or do we have to do it ourselves? Looks like we have to do it ourselves. All right. Well, that answers my curiosity. Let's build this bridge backwards, because why not? <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, it's strange. Look at that, he built it backwards. I'm <laughs> getting this dialogue now. <laughs> and God's ability to reshape the world. True. But he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. Built it backwards. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's that's about all I wanted to experiment with for now. Like, I would have to play a lot further in the game in order to do some of the other stuff. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and get out of this one. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Let's see, I think we've gotten just about everything now, right? Yeah, we've got the 24 sparks. We've got... All the achievements that I care about. Text Adventure, yes, that's the one that I would have to replay the game to get, because apparently it does not remember cross-play sessions. I am so annoyed by that. Uh, maybe I'll do it someday, but not on recording. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really thoroughly enjoyed this game, and I'm really enjoying watching other people play it, too. And, uh, I'm gonna probably check out the demo after this. I don't know how much is different, but, uh, yeah. Don't know how- if I can do it right away, or... Eh, maybe I can do it right after this. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm looking forward to any DLC this game has, and Talos 3 is probably gonna be a long ways off. I don't know what game I'm gonna play after this, after the demo and all that. Uh, you know, I've still gotta play Super Liminal. Uh, I've gotta play... The Pedestrian and other stuff like that. There, there's a lot of games that I need to play that are on my list, and I, I already have them. I just need to find time to play them, like I've done with this game. And, uh, I don't know when or how that will be. For now, goodbye.